Our personal lives and business activities are being conducted online more than ever, making cybersecurity a key issue of our time. Cyber criminals are taking advantage of the changes we are going through today, and our industry is constantly evolving in response. The corona pandemic has been changing the ways we work. This, along with advances in artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, cloud hosting, and more, has given new opportunities to cyber criminal organizations. Let me take you through some of the changes happening now and take a look at what we think the future of cybercrime and cybersecurity will look like. So the digital world is changing and is changing our behaviors. Let us observe some of the factors. For a start, e-commerce and online services has been going digital and now accelerated by the pandemic. Internet access by humans will triple by the year 2022, will reach 6 billion, and by the year 2030, it will reach 7.5 billion internet speeds are also going up 100 times faster with the introduction of 5G, reaching 10 gigabit per second. This will enable criminals to establish and steal large amounts of data at very high speed. We also talk about the Internet of Things, IoT. Well, everything is being connected to the Internet. Gartner estimates 20 billion devices will be connected by the end of this year, 2020. Other forecasts expect 40 to 50 billion things by the year 2027, just six years from now. Everything will be connected. Entire cities, cars, transports, machines, home appliances, businesses, economies. So what if the internet fails in a country? Who controls it? In future wars will be fought in the cyberspace. With everything being connected, entire cities, economies, countries can be severely disrupted. With political and commercial disagreements between countries, it's already starting to happen and will become more devastating. Also, the end of cash. Will cash disappear? Online payments, digital money, contactless cards are rapidly replacing cash, accelerated again by the pandemic. This is a heaven for cyber criminals. Artificial intelligence will be a core component of all cybersecurity systems today. AI, as we call it, which includes machine learning and deep learning algorithms, can be used to learn, mimic behaviors, identify and predict and automate tasks, crunch data and make decisions far faster than any human can ever do. Machines and robots will be programmed as criminals and hackers. Our defense is to do it better and to be faster and not to wait until it happens. So will intelligent robots overtake humans? The idea of super intelligent machinery sounds like a plot from the movie The Terminator or the movie The Matrix, but many experts say the idea isn't far-fetched. Some even think that singularity, which is the point at which artificial intelligence can match and then overtake humans, might happen in just 16 years from now. This technology will be used by governments, companies, cybersecurity experts, and unfortunately, by criminals. Cybercrime is changing too, now and in the future. A new type of criminal organization will emerge. So where are we? Where are we headed? Well, the numbers are staggering. Five years ago, revenues from cybercriminal activities were $1.6 trillion. This is the size of Canada's GDP and is greater than Russia's GDP. Of course, this is attracting sizable criminal organizations and in some instances, entire countries. By 2024, the collective cost of data breaches affecting us to enterprises will reach $5 trillion. That's almost 25% of the United States GDP. Yet today, companies are spending less than $200 billion globally to protect themselves. As I said before, hackers are now taking advantage of artificial intelligence. Offensive AI will learn and adapt. Let me give you some examples. You would have heard about phishing. This is a fraudulent attempt to obtain your passwords and sensitive information by luring you to click on a link or open a file. 
Phishing is like throwing a net to millions of users. Some will fall for it. Spear phishing, however, targets individuals. With artificial intelligence, criminal organizations will collect data about you, your organization, or a specific senior person, and then use his or her credentials to steal their identity. There is also smishing. This is SMS, using SMS tricks on your phone. Smishing is a type of phishing that is conducted via SMS or text and is usually personal, well-written, and much more effective than emails. And now there is vishing. This is voice phishing. And by use of AI, it can mimic anyone's voice. You may get a voice message from someone you like or someone you know on a WhatsApp, for example. Recently, a United Kingdom-based energy company employee was tricked into believing that he was talking to the CEO of their German parent company, who convinced the employee to transfer $243,000 to a Hungarian supplier. Of course it wasn't. Listen to this. Recently, a United Kingdom-based energy company employee was tricked into believing that he was talking to the CEO of their German parent company who convinced the employee to transfer $243,000 to a Hungarian supplier. Recently, a United Kingdom-based energy company employee was tricked into believing that he was talking to the CEO of their German parent company who convinced the employee to transfer $243,000 to a Hungarian supplier. Still worse, using deep fake, artificial intelligence and deep learning, I can be someone else. Maybe your boss, a family member, a political opponent. Cyber criminals could use deep fake technology to generate compromising videos for blackmail and for scams. In politics, content can be designed to spread misinformation. Fake photographs are all around us. Studies have shown that two out of five pictures you see in social media are at least partially fraudulent. The exposure of deep fakes and the services they facilitate can potentially lead to suppression of information and a general breakdown of trust and confidence in public authorities. Ready access to deep fake technology also allows cyber criminals, political activists, and nation states to quickly create cheap, realistic forgeries. This technology lowers the cost of engaging in information warfare at scale. Deep fakes will enhance cyber attacks, accelerate the spread of propaganda and disinformation online, and exasperate declining trust in institutions. Many of these tools become available to purchase by criminal organizations on the dark web. Policymakers face a narrowing window of opportunity to minimize the consequences of weaponized deep fix. At Ingram Micro, we are working with our partners and customers on several measures. Investment in and deployment of deep fake detection technologies. We're also creating the enforcement of digital authentication standards to avoid phishing, vishing, and other novel social engineering methods. In Ingram Micro, we partner with leading cybersecurity vendors. We have also developed our own services and products to help our partners and our customers. To list just a few, we provide training and awareness to our partners and their customers. We provide cybersecurity proactive assessment services and consultancy. We have a product that we developed called Cybergram, our automated self-assessment tool, which will not only give you a health check, but it will recommend solutions in a detailed report based on NIST. Another product is Spyglass, the artificially intelligent assisted spy. It patrols the internet and the dark web, spying on hacker sites and hunting for information that may belong to a client. 
Our AI tools can detect deep fakes and vishing faster than any human. Our AI-assisted data classification and protection will assist in classifying the data that you have and protecting it. Our AI-assisted ransomware protection suites will spot attempts of accessing or stealing sensitive information. We also have cloud data protection suites that will protect your data in the cloud. If you're interested in more details, please join the session of Brian Verborg. He can tell you about all of these and a lot more. Thank you for listening.